Okay, now what we're going to do is I got a sharp scalpel blade. I went ahead and split. The only part you got to use a scalpel for is splitting this little area on the inside right around the nostrils. That's what the only thing you have to use a scalpel for, but we'll still continue to flesh with that. But I went ahead and split that up. That's opened up with my, my scalpel. And when I, I went ahead and done the same thing for the lower lip. As you can see, that's the lower lip. I went ahead and split that down. These are the two things that it's very difficult to do with the mini flesher, but still we're going to flesh here. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to take the nose. I'm going to take the septum out. I'm down in each nostril. I'm getting ready to flesh again. So what I do is I just make a real light cut around the nose. I kind of come to a V up here. Kind of use that for a little bit of a guideline. I do the same on the other side. Make a little bit of a cut around the nose. Now my septum's gone. I have my two nostrils, I have all the flesh still remaining, and I'm going to go ahead again, low, low RPM, very little pressure, and I'm going to finish removing the rest of this flesh from the nose. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a scar tissue right under here. So. I'm just a little bit more aggressive, I'll take that, but I'll deal with that with my skiff knife. So now I've got all this flesh, and I'll just go ahead and trim that away. Now I'm just left with the nostrils. What I'm going to do is work around each nostril, bringing it out. basically have that nostril turned. Have that one turned, I'm going to come over and I'm going to do the same thing to the other tell the fleshing ball makes it very easy to rotate the hide around so I can work at whatever angle I need to. I'll just go in and I got a little bit of flesh here I'll just go ahead and take it off. <laughs> So 
now you can tell the nose pad starting to see through. I've got a little bit of stuff there that will be taken off and cleaned up after the pickle process. But now I've got the two nostrils. So I have a little fleshing cone that I can go up inside of there and the same thing. I'll just take the flesher and bring this rest of the way back. scalpel kind of cut around move the bulk of the meat and then I'll thin that nostril out after my pickle process so I have one nostril turn and we'll come over and I'm going to repeat the same thing with this one. quick and I tore a little hole but it's still on the inside so that's what too much RPM will cause holes so the less RPM the less pressure the better off you are that's one of I rarely cut a hole like that but like I said it's all on the inside so now that nose is completely inverted and completely fleshed. As you can see, I'll clean up what little's there with my skiff knife after the pickle. We have the bottom pad. I'll go ahead and remove that. And that breaks that barrier so when I salt my salt can really penetrate that high so the only thing I got left is because I got this here quite a ways up while I was taking the butt out it's very simple and you put the spreaders in there to, to spread that ear. Because some of the part that makes it toughest for spreading an ear is already gone. I took that out with the mirror pressure. Just that quick. I'll just make a few fine cuts around here with my scalpel. And that's as far as it all go with that. I'll do the same to the other ear. I still have to remove the other. Since we got battery back, we almost had to stop. Let's go ahead and show you removing this oil gland. Once again, as you can see, about a 45. This would be the lower. eyelid if 
45 comes out that easy same process over here kind of work your way toward the top you'll see and you'll know when you're to the top of the oil gland just by the visuals you'll start seeing the hair follicles 45 kind of roll that and the oil glands cut out both eyes were flashed. Might as well turn this last ear. Finish this off a little bit. I use airliners, so I'll pull my cartilage when I get ready to mount, and then I'll use my mini electric mini flasher to clean this side of the ear, the non-cartilage side to clean this off right before I insert my ear liners so as you can see it's pretty easy um, especially for those who are just starting out they don't have the money to afford a big wheel flasher like that uh, mine's an eager beaver um, but sure beats a knife and I think if anybody would use one like I do especially around the face if you even want to do the eyes and the ears like I do um, I think it's I think it could be very useful a very useful tool because I think if we all started one time hand fleshing with a knife the entire body uh, it's a very cumbersome work it takes a long time and sometimes I don't think you get the membrane that you need to get when you do that I'll take this I'll salt this I'll hang it for a few days uh, depending on the weather, if the warmer, the quicker it dries. I'll get it about uh, semi-dry. I don't get it stiff all the way rock hard. And then I'll hydrate it a little bit and I'll put it in my pickle and then I'll go to my next step. But anyway, that's how to use a mini flesher.